It's about to be crazy. So, all right, what is going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Surface Laptop 4 AMD version. This is the Platinum with the Alcantara on the inside. This is one that is, I don't think it's exclusive to AMD, but you can only get AMD in certain colors. So it's nice that with AMD, the cheaper alternative, you get Alcantara on the inside. But this is the Surface Laptop 4. It kind of dropped out of nowhere. Um, I don't know if I'm going to post my Intel version or unboxing first, but regardless, let's just go ahead and get straight into the unboxing because it's exciting to see a Microsoft laptop powered by AMD not powered by Intel. It's so weird to say that. Anyway, um, so one of the reasons why the unboxings are separate is because for one, I think this laptop is gonna smell different. We're gonna have to wait and see. Um, and I feel like AMD just deserves its own standalone unboxing experience. But if I'm gonna be honest, hey, it's just more videos on the channel. Let's, let's be real here. Um, so I, I didn't smell the box in the first one. So unlike Apple, Microsoft's box smells like I'm walking through like the cologne section in a mall, department store. It smells so good. Apple, your boxes smell like dirty water. So up here we have our paperwork and then we have our proprietary Microsoft connector adapter to power the laptop, but you can power it through USB-C. So might as well use USB-C for that. Um, so let's just get into the laptop itself. I think I might be in love with this platinum color. It is, it's like shimmering and like almost a sky blue. I know they have an ice blue color. Ooh, the smell of this one is not, it's not hitting right for me already. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it, it smells like syrup. Just imagine going into a breakfast only restaurant. Bacon, egg and cheese with syrup. <laughs> That's what it smells like, honestly. Smells, <sighs> smells good. Hey, I complain about the smell of syrup and breakfast food. Um, so interestingly enough, if that's even a word, when you get the Alcantara version, there's no material on the inside that protects it from the screen and the keyboard, but I guess the Alcantara... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was rubbing my hands on this Alcantara and my goodness, this feels so good. I forgot my train of thought. I love how I'm just massaging this, this, this laptop now. Oh my gosh, it feels... This is way, I would take this over a full aluminum body any day of the week. This feels so comfortable to rest my palms on for typing. And the keyboard as always, ugh, service laptop feels good. I mean, this is, this is a nice laptop. So as you can see, it's like kind of hard for me to, you know, use the trackpad like this, but I can just easily swipe like this, control exactly how fast I want it to go, stop, and then just go like that, easy. So that's one of the best things about a touchscreen on a laptop, something I really hope Apple could go for for their future MacBook lineups, but we'll have to wait and see. This is, this is such a beautiful laptop. It's Microsoft, I don't know who you hire for your design team, but hey, that, Bravo, if you're watching this, bravo. So one thing that a lot of Windows laptops get flack for is their trackpad, but Microsoft trackpads every single time they deliver, it is, it's a, it's I would say on par with the Magic or Haptic Magic, whatever trackpad Apple's calling it on their MacBooks, I forgot, it escapes my mind. But regardless, I know the MacBook Magic trackpad um, doesn't actually move, it's all just haptic feedback, but I still gotta give it to Microsoft for the Surface trackpad. It feels just as premium. Yes, I do wish you know I could click anywhere, but when I do glide my finger over it and press it down, it's better than like, I would say like 75% of the other competitors at this price point for how the trackpad feels. And it's just so, it's cool to the touch. It's just, it's a very nice and satisfying 
um, trackpad. It's also not as clicky as well, which I really like in trackpads. I have got to have chosen the wrong keyboard. Let's go back. I can't go back. Oh, I can just choose right here. Albanian? I accidentally chose the Albanian keyboard. I'm like, dude, why can't I do shift for my email? Sorry, I'm not, I'm not from Albania. I'm not Albanian. Bro, this smells like a, this smells like a sports car, honestly. Oh, Microsoft, your laptops, oh. I wish they, people gave him more praise, man. Mm. Golly, so good. So good, so good. Okay, so I've gone through the setup process of Windows, but it's just, you know, doing its last final touches. So let's go ahead and run through the specs really quick before I get into the laptop. So like I said, this is the Platinum one, and just to show you guys the other colors as well. Um, so there's Ice Blue, um, Sandstone, Platinum, and then the Matte Black. Um, we have the Platinum. Do you keep in mind Alcantara, I believe, only comes in the Platinum and Ice Blue. So in terms of the display, it is 25, 25, 2256 by 1504, three by two aspect ratio, which is really nice. I don't know if you guys can even see me in frame. Um, it does say surface pen is enabled. Um, so you have to buy that separately. I'm pretty sure that's what the Astrid stands for, probably sold separately. Um, let's go ahead and look real quick though, just to uh, fact check myself so I'm not speaking out of context. Yep, some accessories are sold separately. Um, that makes complete sense. So in terms of the memory department, you get the choice of eight, 16, or 32 gigabytes of LP DDR4 X RAM. So the processor inside the AMD one specifically, um, the 13 inch, it has the Ryzen 5 4680U mobile processor with the Radeon graphics, six cores by the way, which is really cool. Um, battery life, they are boasting up to 19 hours, unlike 17 on the Intel version. And then battery capacity, we have 47.4. In the graphics department, we have the Radeon graphics, like I said before. We have removable SSD storage, so 256, 512, or one terabyte. Um, I'll have a separate video of me opening up the laptops and seeing what they look like. Um, so connections, I forgot to show you guys. So let me show the overhead real quick. So we have USB-A, USB-C, and a headphone jack. And then on the other side, we do have a Microsoft connector port. And you can charge this with the USB-C um, on this port as well, because I know some USB-C on laptops don't actually deliver any power. Windows Hello in terms of signing in, so facial recognition, love it. I just realized I closed this laptop while it was setting up. Um, oh, well, you guys can see the uh, Windows Hello real quick. So just like so, boom. Um, so in terms of software, Windows 10, no surprise to anyone. Um, I completely skipped this. So the front facing camera is 720p. I know some people would have liked um, 1080p, but 720p in terms of laptop, I think it's fine. Dual far field studio mics, um, Dolby Atmos replicated. All right, so this is the new wallpaper as you can see. Um, so compared to the Surface Laptop 3, it doesn't look like that the bezels have been pushed out at all, if any. Um, so that is a bit of a disappointment if you were holding out on um, getting the Surface Laptop 4 in hopes of them increasing the um, actual bezels. But I mean, guys, come on. This is based like MacBook equivalent and I feel like this is perfectly acceptable. It's really only like the super enthusiast um, community who's like, I want my bezels pushed out from here to here and then it's the perfect laptop. Or from here to here, like, guys, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Um, anyway, moving on, let's go ahead and get into the uh, typing test to see how the keyboards feel. <laughs> I'm in my Albanian keyboard again. I think that's my main keyboard right now, the Albanian keyboard. <sighs> this keyboard, I will always crown it as the best alternative to a magic keyboard. I mean, keyboards, it's all about preference, but this keyboard is just so therapeutic to type on. It's not clicky, it's very soft, mellow. Your fingers really glide over the keys. I mean, it's just, it's a solid keyboard. 
Um, if you're expecting something like a little bit thicker, um, more longer key travel as well, this probably isn't gonna be the laptop for you, but for a laptop keyboard, guys, this is a really, really nice keyboard. Um, no complaints in this department. <laughs> I just keep rubbing my hands on this Alcantara. It feels so good. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the display and test out the speakers as well. We're watching 4K, shall we? All right, so this is my buying guide for the MacBook lineup that Apple has for, I guess, mid-2020. And I think now is a good time to make this video because Apple's pretty much refreshed all their MacBooks as of now, not the 16-inch, but they pretty much gutted all their butterfly switches and now have the Magic Keyboard, upgraded the base storage, as well as now they all have quad cores. With the MacBook Air, it's optional. This is really just going to be a brief overview of which one you should get. I do have in-depth reviews and comparisons on my channel, so if you want a little bit more in-depth, go check out my other videos for that. Okay, this is max volume. Keep that in mind. It does sound like there is a bit of a buzz um, on the right-hand side. Um, I think in the video, it's gonna be your guys' left-hand side. Um, but on the right hand side, there seems to be a little bit of a buzzing at like, I guess, the higher tones of my voice. I mean, that is a really like disappointing factor because I always put um, the Surface Laptop speakers almost identical to the MacBook um, speakers, at least the MacBook Air, um, the previous generation, I should say. Um, but yeah, the speakers are a little, I, I mean, they're super clear, don't get me wrong but max volume, which I don't think a lot of people are gonna be um, having their service laptop on max volume, but if you do, keep in mind, at least for my model, I am getting a slight buzz sound. Um, so what else can I do on this laptop? I think that's pretty much it. I haven't, nothing really else to do. I just remembered one thing, I need to do a video test of the camera. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so this is the video quality of the Microsoft Surface Laptop 4 AMD edition. It sounds so weird saying that. I just, my brain tried to read this the correct way and just realized it's mirrored and backwards. And I thought this was in a foreign language. It's so weird. But anyway, um, this is a, uh, I don't know why I'm rubbing my eyebrows. Whoa, what are these wrinkles? I'm getting too old. Oh my gosh, go away. Anyway, <laughs> I need to focus. So in terms of video quality, this is a nice camera. I know it's not um, 1080p, um, but in terms of color and clarity, I do want to say that this looks better than the Microsoft, just not the Microsoft, the um, MacBook Air, just from you know my quick memory, but I'm just I'm gonna have to do a you know, a full comparison video. Um, but overall, this is a nice camera. This is a nice camera. Can't hate it. I'm not hating it, that's for sure. I'm loving this camera. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it for the uh, Surface Laptop 4. Um, so this is the AMD version, or Intel version, I should say. I'm getting so confused at this point, but Guys, there will be comparison videos of the AMD version, the Intel version, the Surface Laptop 3, even though this one is pretty much the same thing as the 4, um, the MacBook Air. I mean, it's about to be crazy on this channel, guys. It's about to be crazy. So, This pretty much wraps up the Microsoft Surface Laptop 4 AMD unboxing experience. Pretty much already said that, but if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, sub, comment. I appreciate every single one of those. And as always guys, much love. Please let me know down in the comments below what you would want me to do with these laptops, um, what videos you would like to see as well, any questions you might have, I'll post videos on it, because hey, your boy has been slacking since, uh, since March. So with all that being said guys, much love. Thank you.